So this is a little series on the reformer when you're trying to rehab your runners back to running. We're only going to do, um, for the purposes of, the, of this video, just a few reps so we can get through the exercises. But obviously when you're actually training yourself or your clients, you'll be doing a little bit more, spending a bit more time on each exercise. So we've got the reformer set up. Um, Sarah's laying down. She's finding her neutral spine. Arms are nice and long. Scapula back into the, the mat. And all she's going to do is start to warm up. So it's all for pelvic floor strengthening. So if she's taking a nice inhale and she's going to exhale and just pull up and in through the pelvic floor, we shouldn't see really any movement, maybe a little bit of lower body or lower belly coming in a little bit. That's it. So we just want to see the breathing action. She already knows how to engage her pelvic floor. We know that. So we just want to add it into some more movements for her. So I would go through a few breaths of that and just kind of warm up. I'm going to pop a little ball between her knees and that would be another little option. If um, somebody needs that extra little bit of oomph up through the inner thighs and leaning into the pelvic floor. Once she feels a little bit more warmed up, we're going to add on. So the first one I'm going to do is a little bit of a hip roll or a bridge up. So on your exhale, you're just going to keep that ball right where it is. So it's not an act of squeezing, just maintaining that tension and use your glutes and your pelvic floor to lift up. Sit. Coming up a little bit. Yeah, just do a straight spine. Inhale as you lower. Find your neutral spine again. Chin down a little bit. Exhale. Engage those glutes. Pelvic floor lifts up and in. So the focus is still always pelvic floor. Good. One more. Keeping that chin down as you lift and lower, especially as you come back down. Keep that chin down. Good. From there, we're going to transfer into a little bit of footwork. So I've got Sarah on two springs right now. As far as our foot placement goes, we know there's many different foot positions we can use, but I might say if she's a heel, if she lands on her heel as a runner, I might keep her on her heels. If she's more of a midfoot, I might do a little bit more midfoot work. So I'm gonna have you slide a little bit more into your heels, Sarah. Good, pull these feet up towards you, find your neutral spine. As you exhale, press away, pull up through the pelvic floor. You're gonna keep that little ball there. Good, as you inhale, coming back in. Now on your inhale, you do want a little bit of release because the pelvic floor needs to release as well. We don't wanna make it too tight. Exhale again as you press away. Good, inhaling, coming back. So I'm gonna take the ball away now and let's transition into a little bit of single work, thinking that runners spend a lot of time on one leg, through weight bearing through one foot. So take one knee off, good. And you can either let it hang or up into tabletop. Depends really on what the purpose is. Our purpose here is really mostly pelvic floor. And you're going to do the exact same thing. Take an inhale and exhale as you press away. Good. Inhaling back to release a little bit and then exhale away. Coming all the way back in, Sarah. So then I'm going to have Sarah come off the reformer right up into standing. And we're going to go into a little bit of the extension. So I might take a little bit of a spring off there, bring this a little closer. So thinking about running, every time we take a, a, a leg out, we're going into the extension, then we land. So we want to add those little pieces in. So I'm going to have Sarah stand behind the reformer, behind the foot bar, but close to it. Bring her heel or midfoot up onto that reformer carriage. So you might want to come this way a little bit more. Yeah, and then reach up. Good, up nice and tall. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press away, but make sure you're pulling up through the pelvic floor. Inhale in, good, and then exhale away. You can change the stopper length, change the springs, depends on who you're working with. These glutes are on as well and hamstrings, so you have that good stability there. Good, do one more of those. That's it, coming all the way back in. Now we're gonna transition back onto a reformer. And Sarah, you can actually be on your hands and knees this time. Bring this back up. Okay, and so we're going to use again a little bit of extension. Running is a lot of extension. We want to use our glutes. So pairing that up with the pelvic floor is really handy. So Sarah's going to bring one heel up onto that bar and then find a bit of alignment. This knee probably could be a little further to the side. Yep, fill the space in. That looks really good. Take an inhale, exhale, pulling up through the pelvic floor to press away. That's good. And she stops when that carriage stops. So both are stopping at the same time. Exhale, pelvic floor lifts up, glutes are on to press away. 
and do one more and see if you can get just even a straighter knee through there. You want to get lots of good extension. Yeah. Oh, that's shifting. Good. Come all the way back in. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to get you laying back down on the reformer. Lift that up. A couple screws on there. Good. We're going to go into a bit of running. So even though it's not really impact quite yet, it's faster motion. And so there's different um, speeds that people run at. So we want to add this in as well. So slide down to the balls of your feet. Neutral spine, you're going to press way out there and stay out there. And then go into a little bit of your running. So one heel lowers, the other bends. That's it. And you're trying to keep nice and stable through the pelvis so it's not rocking side to side. Shoulders are pressed down into the mat. Good. Take a nice inhale. Now for this, you could maybe say, inhale for four, one knee up, one knee up, one knee up, one knee up. Exhale, pelvic floor pulls up for four. And just add that in. Good. Do one more of those. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, pulling up to the pelvic floor for those four. Good. And then press up through both of the balls of the feet. Bend your knees, come all the way back in. Good. Bring your knees into your chest. And now I want to change this. Loosen this up. I'm going to add the jump board on as we try a little impact. Because, of course, running is impact. We have to have that in here. So I'm going to have Sarah on one spring at first, and then you can pop your feet on there. And then she's just going to start getting used to doing some jumps. So as you press away, get your legs nice and straight. That's it. Good. And have that heel. That's perfect. Yeah. So landing on the ball of foot, then the heel is going to follow. That's excellent. Good. And I can see you're working hard through there. <laughs> Engage that core. Pelvic floor. And really think about pelvic floor lifting up before the feet connect. Because that's where you're really going to get that. You know, the pelvic floor muscle should be on before heel stretch. So that's super important. Before that foot connects to the ground. And with this, you could say, inhale, and then exhale, and hold maybe for a couple of the jumps. And she can change this so she can land on one foot, bringing one knee in, yep, and then switching over, mimicking that single leg impact. There's all sorts of stuff to, different exercise to start with. We're just going to start with this series. So give that a try, and um, I'll see you in the next video.